What's going on everyone? It's your boy Cotton and today I'm going to be teaching y'all how to create this super awesome color changing blur effect. I kind of just made it up today while I was at my friend's house and he asked me how to use adjustment layers as effects and transitions because he didn't quite understand it and I made a pretty cool transition effect so I thought it would be awesome to teach y'all guys how to create it. Now that we are in Premiere, the first thing I'm going to do is show y'all what this transition actually looks like. So here we go. So right there. Super awesome, super simple. So let me delete this right here. And all you wanna do is right click right above the search bar. We're gonna select new item and create a new adjustment layer. Click OK. Then we're going to drag this onto our timeline and we're going to make it about 10 frames. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to cut that, delete the rest of it. And now we're going to position we're going to position this right in between our clips. So we have 5 frames on each side. So I'm going to zoom in. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Drag that right there. So now we have five frames on this side of the clip and this side of the clip. The next thing we're going to do is go to our effects tab and we're going to uh, type in directional blur right here. We're going to drag that onto the adjustment layer and then we're going to type in color and type and select the color balance HLS tool. Drag that on top of there. The next thing we're going to do is create some keyframes. So we're going to click the stopwatch right here. Now we're going to go five frames forward. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to make two more keyframes. Then we're going to go to the end of the clip. One, two, three, four, five. Make two more keyframes. So now we're going to click this button right here to go back to the middle keyframe. We're going to set the blur length to something like 200. And then the direction, you can just play around with it. Just spin it, see whatever you like. So I'm just gonna put it at 356. So the next thing we're gonna do is go to the beginning and set a, a hue keyframe. So we're gonna click the stopwatch right here. And then we're gonna go all the way to the end of the adjustment layer and just start sliding this like crazy. Just go crazy with it. And now we have done it. We have created this super awesome blur color changing transition effect. So here we go. Super awesome. There you have it. A super awesome color changing blur effect. So as always, if you're new to the channel, consider clicking that subscribe button if you like the content. Give this video a thumbs up. Drop a comment. Share the video with all your friends. And I'll see you guys next time.